What's going on, guys? I've got something super cool that I just really want to talk about and I really want to show you. It's called Mercury by Stream Elements, and it is going to be a game changer for YouTubers. That, that's what really threw me off. I wasn't expecting Stream Elements to make stuff for YouTubers, um, but I guess it makes sense since people are also streaming on YouTube. But here is what's cool about it. You can now have dynamic thumbnails and dynamic descriptions. This thumbnail for this video is dynamic and will update per the amount of people that are subscribed to the channel. And also the description will update as well based off the amount of people that are subscribed to the channel. So you can do really cool stuff with these and you can essentially have the thumbnail update the current amount of subscribers you have. And like our description, it can update based off of our sub goal. So the percentage will actually increase and the bar will get bigger as we get closer to our sub goal, which is currently 50K. I also wanna go ahead and mention that a lot of people that watch this channel aren't subscribed. And if you think this is a really cool tool and it's gonna help you out and you maybe wanna check out some of our other streaming info, um, equipment reviews for content creators, or even stuff based off live streaming, then maybe think about subscribing because that would help us out a ton. And we get tons of views every month and most of those people never hit the subscribe button and that just stinks. So if you wanna help us on our goal in our road to 50K, then think about hitting that button. But without further ado, let's kind of talk about this a little bit more in depth and then let's jump over to the computer in a second. So first, I just wanna mention what it is. It's dynamic, you go to Stream Elements website and you update these templates and you can update these modules that they have to essentially do really cool things like set stream goals, update your descriptions, retroactively through social media links and stuff. If those change, they're just updated on all your old videos. You just set it once and then let Stream Elements take care of all the hard work for you. So it's a really cool thing and I think you guys are gonna like it. So without further ado, let's run that intro. All right, so now we're over the computer and we're gonna take a look at Mercury by Stream Elements. This is something that caught me off guard. I did not know this was gonna be a thing and I think it's really cool. Um, it's gonna be great for YouTubers. And let, let's go ahead and jump into all of the many different things that it can be because it is awesome. And I've actually set our YouTube thumbnail for this video to be dynamic because that's one of the features and we're gonna talk about it in a second. But I wanna breeze over some of the stuff that isn't the most innovative, but it's just something that's really nice to have. So first off, it does take a little bit of time, but it will generate you statistics for your YouTube channel and let you know what's going on with there. Um, we've got options for creating polls that can be dynamically inserted into your descriptions. We'll talk about that in a second. And we even have the ability to have tipping through this you know, program or website. So that's really cool, but there's some other dynamic features that we're gonna talk about in a second that make all of this kind of cohesive and why it's a really cool thing. So getting started first, we can go to the My Video section and we see that I currently have a template applied to pretty much every video and we'll talk about that in a second, um, but we can actually edit dynamic widgets for this video. So this is the big thing. This is the really cool thing in my opinion. We've got dynamic descriptions, widgets and stuff for the descriptions, and we also have dynamic thumbnails. So what this means is we can essentially take our thumbnail that we have and we can put text over the top of it and we can add just standard text or we can put the amount of subscribers. So we can literally put the amount of subscribers we have here on the screen and it will dynamically update. So it will update your thumbnail for you. So this could be, um, instead of best time to upload, it can say um, road to 50K subs and it could show that we're at 19,100 and it will dynamically update as people subscribe. Super cool, many different features. We can do subscribers, video views, YouTube members, um, and then even integration through Team Trees and Team Cs through Mr. Beast, which is pretty cool. And we can do things such as change the font to make it better fit our thumbnail and change font sizes, text color, and formatting and stuff like that. So this side is really cool, but this is what's really got me um, right here. This is what I like about it. And I'm gonna just have to start using this for all of my videos moving forward because there's two things that you can get out of this that's really cool. One is this preview tab lets you see what it's gonna look like 
And this is important because this right here, these first three lines are your call to action. These are like, hey, do you want to check out the description? Um, do we have anything interesting? Because people are likely to see the, these three lines as opposed to seeing all this other stuff that's down there. And one of the other reasons that it's really cool too is because if we make these things modules that are dynamic like this, we can go back and update these at any point in time. So if How To Tech does anything with a company or we decide to promote say a charity or anything, we wanna add that to all of our descriptions of all of our videos in our whole catalog. That would take so long to do it manually, but instead of this, we can use this template that we've got here and we can update that. So the first three lines I can change at any point in time of any video that we have. So this is really cool. So all of our videos right now say HTT road to 50 K subscribers. They look just like this. And then it's got a dynamic widget or template that's added in. And if we go to customize, we can see what that is. So it's, essentially just a subscriber goal that's dragged into the template. And I'll show you the templates in a second and it will update. So you can set your goals and stuff inside of there. It's really cool. We've got ability to do other things like add Patreon supporter goal, discord member goal, membership goals, and even set our links for our stuff inside of here, which is really cool. And you know, you got these options, but we also have something else that's really cool. So we can actually spotlight our members or our subscribers, our latest tippers, donators, um, just whatever you want to call it. But we've got the options donors. That's makes more sense. Right. Um, and we can also set up our Patreon and discord to integrate into this. And that's what makes it really cool. It's super dynamic with each other. So We've got this template that's added in here. So I really want to show you why that's really useful. And the reason why I think it's going to be super useful is if you want to do something like this call to action, you can simply update it at any time with any information you wanted to. And I think another reason that's going to be really cool is because if you have social media links that might change from time to time, yes, you can use things like Willow to create dynamic links that essentially are like a landing page for your brand. Or you could use something like this through templates. And at any point in time, if you ever change your Twitter link, your Facebook page, um, your Twitch streams link, any link that you may update in the future or want to add to this, you can retroactively add back to all of your videos in your back catalog. And you don't have to spend time combing through your 100, 200, 300, however many videos you might be at that time in. And it's just kind of annoying to have to go back and update them. So that's where these templates come in handy. So... I've got the template here and I did not mean to add that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and back out of this settings and we can see where we have those dynamic options set that there, but we also have the templates page. So inside this templates page, I have what's called road to 50 K and I'm actually going to edit this because I'm going to name this my call to action because this is going to be at the top of every single there we go. At the top of every single YouTube video that we do, uh, we want this to essentially spotlight, hey, we're trying to get to 50K subs, and it's just kind of more of an incentive for people to be like, hey, do you want to support us? Do you want to help us get to 50K? Well, we're at 19.1K out of 50K, and you can see that we're at 38%. And there's a possibility that if you subscribe, you might see that bar move from 38 to 30, 90%. Or, 30, 90. You might see it move from 38 to 39%. So that's where it gets really cool is it makes it more interactive for your viewers. And if you wanted to add some of these other things into your description and stuff like that, you could do so as well, which is really, really cool. So you just save that template. I'm going to save mine since I updated it and boom, that's been updated. All right. And we'll back out of that and go to my videos and click on this again and we can see now that it's even updated and it says it's a call to action. So I know that this is going to be my call to action. And like I said, if I wanted to do one for social media, I could just create a template for it. And anytime my links update, it's going to retroactively, retroactively update those for me. So there's a few more features in here that I think are also worth going over. So we have the ability for shout out studio, which is really cool. Something I did not know was a thing. And essentially what this lets us do is this lets us call out or shout out our latest subscribers, our latest patron backers, members, and all of that stuff. So it actually just creates something that you can add to your video. That's a cool little pop-up that shows up at the bottom of the screen to be like, 
hey, thanks to all of our recent subscribers. It's just a cool way of doing that. And I assume if you put that in your video at some point, people might actually subscribe just to see if their name shows up in the next video. And that's a really cool thing to do because it's more of engaging people and letting them be involved into your channel. And it's always kind of a cool thing because if this is a running thing you do from your channel, um, say from now till however many years that you plan on doing it, somebody can go back to one of your back catalog videos and be like, Hey, I remember in 2022 when I subscribed to this guy, whenever he only had like 19 K subs. And then let's say 10 years from now, I'm at, you know, a million or maybe a hundred, 200,000. You might look at that and say, I remember whenever I subscribed to that person and it's just a really cool thing because they can go back and look and say, yeah, there's my username in that video you can see where I did it. So we have options to customize however many people you want to add to it. You can do so. And it's just a really cool feature that I've never seen before. And I think it's going to be really cool to start using these possibly in some of your YouTube videos. And you have the option to do stuff like change the design, the colors of it, and even the message and text that you want to put up there. So if you wanted to change that, um, you have the ability to do so. And you can just save it as a template and give it a name if you wanted to. So we also have the ability for tipping, which is nothing revolutionary, but one of the cool things, like I mentioned before, is the modules that essentially let you drag into your description. So you can dynamically essentially thank people or the most recent people that have sent money to you through this. And it's just a cool way of them being like, yeah, I was the last person to send them five bucks because I really support them. And um, it's just a way of saying thanks to my community and thanks to these people for helping support us. And, you know, it's really cool that you can do this inside of somewhere like that. We also have the ability to set up connections for stuff like Patreon and Discord. And it looks like they're giving us the option to go ahead and vote of the next connection that we would like to see. So I'm actually very curious to see how this goes moving forward and the different integrations and connections they have. Um, will they have a dynamic module that lets people know when you're live on Twitch? If so, that'd be really cool. Um, would it, you know, let people know the last people that followed you on Twitch or Twitter or any of these other platforms. I have no idea, but it's a really cool option that they are integrating these feature things and are letting you choose uh, which ones you think that you would like to see. And the community gets kind of a voice in that. And they don't just say at Instagram, but for some reason there's really nobody on this platform that might want to use Instagram. They're going after what you guys want. And I think that's really cool. So yeah, guys, it's going to be all for this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Go ahead, destroy that like button, get subscribed, and turn on notifications for future videos from How To Tech just like this. And also, if you want to leave a like just because, man, I... I came out here today. Uh, my voice has been trash for like the last four days and I really wanted to record this video. And I was like, I can't wait another day. I've got to record it. That way we can hit a two day out of the week upload goal, which is our goal for this next year. We're going to try to upload at least two videos a week. So we're going to hit two days a week. So let us know what you think. We're also going to try to start shooting for three. If we can, we're, let us know what you guys think and what other content you want to see. Um, we'd love to hear it in the comment section down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Chad from how to tech, helping you take your tech to the next level. And I will see you guys in a future video, hopefully with a much better voice. Peace. You did it. You made it to the end of the video. And if you want to check out some of our other stuff, you can do it right over there. That stuff. That's some good stuff. You should check it out. And if you want to be like these lovely people down below, you can check out our YouTube memberships. Memberships give you early access to videos, discounts on merch, and some other cool stuff that you get on YouTube to like kind of show off your bling and be like, yeah, I support this guy and the other guys that help run this stuff. So big thanks to all of our YouTube members.